you missed start. Thought it was a ghost for a minute, did you? Jamie, Jamie I... Let me speak first, please. That's the rent from the tents. And I thought perhaps I could speak to Rabbi's aunt for me, so. Even if she had taken him in, I don't think it would have lasted. She had a tragedy with him with too many bearings as it is. This is a better place for him. Father would have thought so too. I was wrong not to consult you, and I'm sorry for it. Truly. Hope to do it different in the future. I'm the one who's wronged you, and I'm so ashamed. Of what? Ever since father died, a small, dark part of me has blamed you for this day. When they told me what happened at Fort William, that Randall flogged himself and that seeing that is what killed father, I thought you must have done something to bring it upon yourself. Shot your mouth off or acted without thinking of the consequences as you have done all your life. But then out at the mill pond, when I saw the scars on your back, scars made by a lash laid down with such fury. Fresh yourself about it anymore. It was me, it's my fault that Randall beat you so. You didn't care what you're saying. But I do. That day, that day when Randall came here, and he took me upstairs, if I hadn't mocked him that way, if, I, if I'd given him what he wanted, he wouldn't have treated you like he did with any other. Cry not. Don't. <laughs> I did anger Randall. But Fort William. I spent the past four years of my life blaming myself for father's death because of it. But now you know better. <laughs> I, I do. No, it's not your fault. Nor mine either. There's a devil in that man that no one can influence. The only one responsible for putting father in his grave is Jack Randall. 